up Ghana, Africa to the world. You don't know it's your boy, NK Van Official, on another episode of Hood Vibe Show. And on this episode, we did Angologa. Yeah, Angologa. And we can't vibe plus one of the dons, one of the kings ruling Angologa right now. We're here with Zai G. And Charlie, we can't vibe. Keep it locked here. What's up, boss? Hello, yeah, bro. Everything cool. Yeah. Everything nice. I'm your side. Okay, everything nice for my side. Nice one. Okay. So. <clears throat> Music is what you pick up to do. The music you want to do. Yeah, that's my job, you know. That's your job. Uh, it's something I love. It's, it's been part of me. So, mm. uh, I'm music. Mm. But I want to surprise you plus one thing. Okay. Why you go to school? You go you go learn which course for you, university? I did uh, science laboratory technology. Science laboratory technology. Yeah. We, after science laboratory technology, the music you want to do. Yeah, you know... Uh, as individuals, we have passion for certain things that uh, our parents might not see you to be, you know, mm. sometimes it's, it's normal, sometimes, you know, mm. uh, but <clears throat> aside that, I think education is very important, yeah, it, it's good to have something uh, aside your talent, you okay. understand? Okay. Because talent is a general thing. Everybody has something special. Okay. But there should be... There are things that society gives to you. Okay. You understand? You have to equally accept them as well. So I don't think there is any conflict between talent and education. Okay. So going to school was just a normal thing. I'm a Ghanaian child. You know, we are all born like yeah, this. Like sure. We were born, this is a normal routine that we pass through till mm. you get out of age and decide to do something for yourself. You get it. Yeah, so. Would, would, would you ever go back to practice um, um, what you study in school? Why not? Like, I mean, it's, it's a course to serve humanity. You understand? Laboratory science is a hospital kind of, yeah. you know, course. So I think I'm, I have that for people. I, I love to see people feel right and okay. okay. So if there is the call for me to help, you know, strengthen my people mm. health-wise, I think that wouldn't be a bad thing. But I mean, I'm a musician, but that will always be a part of me. Okay. Yeah. Now let's let's go back. When did you discover this talent of music? Like, when did you discover it? Okay, so uh, I'm a natural born drama. Okay. I'm a talented drummer from from Beth. Beth, you know, I've been practicing this, and my people know me for that. You get it. So music has been part of me because drumming is part of it. Okay. You understand? Okay. It has been part of me, but I didn't actually think a day like this mm. uh, I would be calling myself a musician. You understand? Okay. It started as something I love, mm. and I grew up here. Okay, here okay, in Angloga. And on our market days, there is this veteran artist, uh, Toby Baglaja, um, Volta Defenders, Falefe. You know, these people come around town to sell their CDs, their, their cassettes. Okay. That was the era, it was cassette era. So mm -hmm. they, they come around town to market days to sell their CDs and, and their cassettes. Yeah, so cassette. I actually run away from school on a normal day to follow them around. You, I like, I just love the vibe. I just love to enjoy that, like, but it never crossed my mind that I would one day call myself a musician because I didn't even know that is like a profession. I just know people who sing, uh, they are artists and they are artists. I don't know whether it's a talent, a profession or whatever. I was just being part of the moment and enjoying whatever that comes from them, you know? Yeah, so... Back in secondary school, there is this. Um, I, I used to write lyrics for my friends. Okay, mm -hmm. I was part of a dancing crew, and one day there was a, the idea that we record a song for the school. I did my thing first. The school seems to be enjoying me more, and I continue writing for my friends. Uh, one of the guys in Dead People, Coffee Control, okay. was a school son, and I, I used to write. A well lines for him at least four lines mm -hmm. then you fix it in a tree he used to do a rap battle at um a solid fm back then kfm they used to do this freestyle saturday thing so mm -hmm. in kumasi yeah so at the age of 12 
13 or so, I moved to Kumasi. Okay, so I grew up fully in Kumasi. Okay, yes. So this is one thing that I used to do for the boys. And mm -hmm. I could say that it's one of the reasons I'm doing this because there was a time I wrote something and anytime I write, I have to rap for him to learn the words and the pronunciations. Okay. Okay. So I flew and he was like, damn, like, yeah, you yourself, you're a rapper. Why don't you just do this? And, mm -hmm. you know, and it started like that. I, I sometimes take my time to write small lyrics down. And after school, I met a friend who wasn't even a musician, like, not look like musician on the guy when we were coming up. Mm -hmm. And I see this guy recording and he was like, Charlie, this is my song. So we started the vibe. He took me to the studio. We did our first record. Boom, the people love it. I can't love it ever happen. It started all over, like, from there, I, I took things serious from there. Okay. I feel like this is something I can do, because if with Ewe, I can amaze a tree-speaking person, somebody mm -hmm. who doesn't understand what I am saying, mm -hmm. then I think this is something I can oh, actually sure. make ends meet. Oh, yeah. You understand? So, oh, okay. yeah. so, if if this so, is what you want to do, you start the way back, like, this thing you start maybe today, yeah. you get to, yeah. where you do due to this point now. Mm -hmm. You face ch challenges. Yeah. I want you to mention a few challenges you face as you coming up as, a, as an artist. All right. So, music to a lot of people is for fun. You know? Okay. It's for fun. But before that music comes out to become that thing that gives people joy, mm -hmm. there is a lot of work that goes into that. You okay. understand? Okay. And so I will say that getting the materials ready for the people is a challenge on its own. Okay. Financially, you have to be strong to yeah. be able to do that. And then sometimes if you don't have the financial strength, yeah. you need some few connections. You need people to link you up with people for you to, you know, get things done. Mm. So those were things I was lacking then. Okay. I like the connect and I like the financial assistant. Mm. As, um, I mean, as I'm talking now, if more investments go into me, mm. the output will be different. Be different sure. You understand? Yeah. There will be wins, you know? Yeah. You get it. So, where I am now is basically because of the little input I was able to make in the past. Mm. Being it... Um, uh, from friends, the help of friends and co. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. All this is part of what we are seeing today. And so I think if I got those assistance in the earlier days, today would have been a good or good study. You understand? So the financial side is my, I think my main problem right now because if it's about the studios, there are a couple of them out there. If it's about the lyrics, I am the wordsmith myself. Nobody writes for me. I have a couple of ideas to put on board. So, like, I mean, that's what it is. Yeah. So, so from what you said, you want to say, from uh, as I'm now, music is paying you. Oh yeah, I won't be ungrateful to music. Music has done a lot for me because if not giving me directly, my music is the reason why, you know, some boutiques just give me something to wear. I don't pay for them. Okay. Shout out to Paco Collections. You spoil there. Okay. You understand? Okay. So, music helped me in so many ways. Okay. I go to the Barbara Saloon without paying, okay. you know. So, that's a form of payment. Mm -hmm. You understand? And online streams are also giving us a little. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's not a payment yet. Okay. That's just a return on an investment and we have to reinvest to make the profit, oh, okay. you understand? So, basically, that's as, what it as, is. As you talk hairstyle, you say you go by me, so like, hey, I want to say this, like, your hairstyle, I want, I want to be part of the people now. Yeah. I want to speak as, as a fan. Okay. And they like the former hairstyle, part, so you go do that one again. The dreadlocks? Yeah. Okay, I just feel like I, I love to keep things simple. I just love to enter places I want to enter at any point in time. Okay. And there's a little of limitation to the hairstyle. Though, as a musician, I have to create a unique look for myself. Mm. I also feel that a lot of artists already have dreadlocks. Okay. There could be nothing so unique about yours. Okay. Though there are styles, but at the end of the day, 
it is dreadlocks, you understand? Mm -hmm. So I decided to keep it simple and be the real me. Okay. All right. Yes. So this one is just a touch of difference. Okay. Yeah, you might see people with hairs down like this, but you might not see somebody with a blue, mm -hmm. uh, with a coconut design in here, mm -hmm. like. So that be the difference. You understand? Okay. Yeah. So it might not really be about how you feel mm. because this is new this is the first time you are seeing it so yeah. actually yeah you know it's like that you that might get used to it someday that, sure you i understand? get used to it and that's why i say i want to speak like a fan okay good. this be how yeah. they think from yeah yeah, uh, yeah yeah so you explaining how you also feel now will make me understand but you know yeah. every fan will get the opportunity to meet you to for you to explain this yeah yeah yeah, okay. yeah sure keep it locked here subscribe hit the post notification bell because we well, can't go on straight <laughs> We're back. This good vibe show don't go anywhere because we they can't give you more. Is that you there? You grew up in Anwaga. Yeah. How, how, how does how, how does it feel to be an Anwaga boy? Like, how that, what's the feeling? It's a nice feeling, you know. Anytime I'm back here, the energy is different. Like, I feel like, yo, I'm back to, I mean, your hood. My hood. That feeling is there. You understand? Uh, it's a place of experience. It's a place of life. We, 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 we've gone through a lot and I honestly will say it's a great lesson, nothing regrettable here. You know, it's life and this is where we find ourselves mm -hmm. and so we got to appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, Anglogan uh, gave me my early education. Mm -hmm. Anglogan nurtured my talent. Okay. I mean, this facing the public, having a, to present something in, in the presence of people started way back when I was playing this talking drumming. Cool. Okay. I've done a bit of fishing, I've done a bit of farming, and so as it stands now, I can face it if I only have the chance to, you know, farm, okay. or only have the chance to, you know, fish. Okay. You understand? I can equally make something off drumming. Okay. I mean, fixing it in my music is a bigger advantage. Yeah. And so it's a nice feeling being an Anglo So basically, it's man give you vibes when they are Anglo be that. Yeah, yeah. vibes. This be the a fact over to be precise. Yeah. You, know. you, you have, you have a, a song where yeah. you basically rapped and give us, like, I mean, details of uh, I talk about Anglo I talk about things I, you know, we, enjoyed. We, the we vibes. Some, we some that. <laughs> That's Journey to Anglo Jenny to Amanda. Yeah. Give us some lines for inside. Rapping a mock of it, I'm a blue. My double bomb was a Okay. Madova, but who but you come in at you? Mabo Machonga Okay. Fima Fima Yabo Mopo no Vino. Okay. 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 I don't know how you get yours, but, yeah, but anyhow you could get them. This, side. this is the Fatuma way, yeah. this is the Anglonga way. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Okay. Now you have a new single coming out. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about it. Okay, so the new single is Dag Beneva. And um Dag Beneva is a conscious vibe. Mm -hmm. um, when we say Dag Beneva, Dag Be means good. Okay. Great fortunes, goodness, you understand? Okay. So that whenever we, we are asking for that okay. to come upon us, you understand? Okay. This is a statement mostly used by our traditional leaders and co. Okay. And in, 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 they use it to request for favors, okay. goodness, strength, good health, and everything for their people, okay. you understand? And, and what I have, my world is a musical world. Mm -hmm. And the people that I have as my people, are the people that connect with what I do. Okay. You understand? It means they, re, they, they, they reason the same way I reason because you cannot connect with something I say if you don't have that feeling or if, if you don't personally relate to it. You understand? Yeah. So in this world of Nawanya family, I am the traditional leader here. Okay. And so I'm trying to connect with the divinities, being it Allah, being it God, being it the gods. Okay. I'm trying to connect myself back to them, talk to them on behalf of my people. Okay. Requesting for this greatness, mm -hmm. good lives, you know, more children from the people who cannot conceive, okay. strength, okay. 
and everything for my people. That is all that believer is all about. So it's most described as a, a, a word of prayer and at the same time a word of encouragement. You understand? Mm. We pray for it and then we, we, we receive it. Exclusive. We go here like a bit small line for inside. Then oh. the rest, if the rest come on, then go get them. Yeah, so okay, exclusive. So. Give us some lines for inside. Then you know me a kata da benava. La mwese kula bechichi e ganava. Let me let the car. Paswa pe the car. Maji maji u na jiwa u the car. Then you know me a kata da benava. La mwese kula bechichi e ganava. Let me let the car. Paswa pe the car. Maji, maji, wona, jiwa, wode. We pray for grace, and again we pray for favor. Mavu kansu bolisa, nena mi koba. Keren si anasu miyashi miyacho kwa pula vwa kweren chi. Since we hope for miyakwe, ne jidu du nasu miyashi. That's a bit. <laughs> That'll be exclusive, like you don't go here for anywhere. Yeah. Only on hood vibes too. So keep it locked here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we go, like, you will give us your social media handles, but before that, what do you want to tell your fans, like the people where they follow you? Yeah, I want to say a big thanks to everybody following the Zaiji brand for years now. Mm-hmm. Those who just joined the Nawanya family, I salute everybody. Charlie, you guys are following them on my page and I love the energy. Let's keep this. We are almost closer to getting there, you understand? So let's keep doing this. Let the energy be fresh. Let it never get down. Let's push this. That whenever it's coming and it's for all of us. It's a vibe for you. It's a prayer for you. It's a song for me, and it's a song for you. Let's vibe with it. It's dropping on the 19th of this month, and you are going to get it everywhere you want it. iTunes, Spotify, Audiomark, Boomplay, everywhere. Subscribe to the channels, and let's keep this going. Bless up. And then, bah! Before we go, if you want to book ZIG for sure, mm-hmm. what is the process like? Okay, so... I have my email, zajidope at gmail.com, zajidope, Z-Y-J-E-E. The dope is D-O-P-E, all together, zajidope at gmail.com. So you forward your request to the number, talk to us about your ideas, and let's see how best we can make it come true. Yeah. Give us a social media handle. All right, so on Facebook, I'm Zaiji, Instagram, Zaiji, Twitter, Zaiji, YouTube. I mean, everywhere I am Zaiji. Yes. Z-Y-G-E-E. We they can't put chairman on the spot, you mm. understand? Yeah, we no, no won't blow. put down on the spot. No, no, blow. <laughs> you say you grew up in Agroga, right? <laughs> Give That's us take a music. I don't I'm not <laughs> not too happy. You know, he recited the uh uh Talk Me from my I swear you I can't. <laughs> I swear, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I remember a few words in it, okay. but I'm not one of the people who focus on reciting. I, I was quite stubborn in school. basic school, you understand? And some of these things are not things I will do. Um, okay. You get it. It, it, was, it was something that is good for us. It's a great thing. Uh, there are great lessons in there. I can remember some of them, but I am not that student at that time who will pay attention to all this. I just want to go and play some drum. I just want to play some football. I just want to, you know, swim some BK and those kind of vibes, you know. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm sorry, but, my people. But, but you can remember a line you need, right? Yes. So give us that. Just one line. Talk be seven no plan my I will be no me down my boat. You kill him. That be all. That be all. This whole bad show, Charlie, we out. Oh.